Zach Levine, Carl Anthony Towns, Victor Wembenyama, Bogdan Bogdanovich, and Jeremy Sohan are all on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today. It is Thursday, November 30th. We are talking DraftKings, but we're doing it right after this. First, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live, and follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Now, let's get into the top five. First up at number five, I'm looking at Emmanuel quickly. Point guard, shooting guard eligible, 5,300. Projected for 25, the goal is 36. He's in the winning lineup 27% of the time. Minutes have been creeping up just a little bit as of late, and this matchup is stellar. There are two touchdown favorites against the Pistons. Pace up spot against a bad defense. 14 and a half points, three boards, three assists, and a stock. There's a little bit of wiggle room here on quickly, but for right now, having that MPE at 5,300 is really helping out. In next at number four, the first of four more Timberwolves, that's gonna be Nas Reed, power forward center, 4,500, projected for 23, goal 35, winning lineup 29% of the time. Anthony Edwards is doubtful. We already don't have Jaden McDaniels. Lots of minutes and shots to go around. I went 20 minutes, 1.15 fantasy points per minute for Reed in a pace up spot against a terrible Utah Jazz defense. 12 and a half points, four rebounds. It's 23% usage for Reed. You get an assist, you get a stock and a half. The price is great. The positional eligibility is fantastic. And the fact that Anthony Edwards isn't there opens up everything. But we are not done with Minnesota. Nikhil Alexander-Walker shows up at number three. Shooting guard, small forward, eligible, 4,900, projected for 25. The goal is 37. He's in the winning lineup 34% of the time. I went 29 minutes here, could easily play more. It's around a .8 fantasy point per minute guy, but does get this great matchup. It's around 11 and a half points, three boards, three assists, and a stock and a half. The position is the key piece here. Swapping him between shooting guard, small forward, guard forward, and utility. Very good flexibility. Speaking of flexibility for guys you don't really want to roster, Troy Brown Jr. in at number two. Shooting guard, small forward, eligible, 4,200. Projected for 21, the goal is 33. He's in the winning lineup 39% of the time. 28 minutes for Troy Brown. 0.75 fantasy points per minute. Nine points, five boards, an assist, a stock. Again, awesome matchup against the Utah Jazz. Troy Brown probably sees the biggest increase in minutes for Anthony Edwards being out. And because of his price and position, that makes him a guy you got to get to. But the number one guy for today is going to be slow-mo Kyle Anderson. Small forward, power forward, eligible, 4,500. Projected for 26. The goal is 35. He's in the winning lineup 61% of the time. 27 minutes, around 0.9 to 0.95 fantasy points per minute. And he's going to do a little bit of everything. And if he starts you're probably projecting even more than 27 minutes. Nine and a half points, four and a half boards, four assists, two stocks, filling the stat sheet in, an, in a perfect spot. And his price tag at 4,500 just doesn't reflect the fact that Anthony Edwards is not likely to play today. Kyle Anderson is your number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Thursday, November 30th. That's a lot. That's hard to say. FanDuel version around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We are back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.